Hey Risers, it's Tina here back for another video. As promised, I am going to be reviewing Blackpink's live performance of How You Like That. So let's watch together and we'll talk about it. Here we go. This is very exciting. They have over 1.5 billion billion streams. They're unbelievable. Wow. Phenomenon is not even a word. You have to invent a new word for this group. Uh, here to perform How You Like That from their upcoming album. Here is Blackpink. I like it already. Hey! Alright, this is a catchy song. I like it. Uh, I like the way that they started the song. I like how they're so... They're so put together. Everything that they do, their choreography, the way that they move. I love the way that they look. Like I like their image and the way that they kind of are still uniform together. Um, of course, as mentioned before, it's just part of television. You always have a TV mix where you have vocals kind of helping you build and make it a little bit thicker. Um, you can hear that in the background, but from what I can tell, they're still having a good time. They're still at this point singing, which is really good. Um, they sound like the track, which is great. And obviously there are effects that are over those microphones to blend with the TV mix at the back, but I love it so far. Da, 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 da. Hey! So sassy! Look at you now, look at me! Okay, I love the elements of this song. Um, you got rap, you got choreography, you can hear their cultural influence in the back of the music, which is what I love. You should always put a piece of your heart, your soul, your culture in what you create and what you sing. And I love it so much. It's so good. Let's keep watching. How you like that? That? <laughs> hey! Look, I don't know about you guys, but if I was doing this much choreography and singing, I would be out of breath. Um, one of the ways you can actually help with that, for those that are watching that do sing and dance um, and find yourselves getting out of breath, um, obviously it's a part of training. Uh, one of the things that you can do is either be on the cross trainer or the treadmill, running or inclining and singing at the same time. The more you do it, the more your body accustoms to that movement. It's muscle memory, it's lung capacity, it's all those wonderful things. They're doing so much. Um, that's another reason why we have TV mix also in these performances so that you can, it lifts the track, it lifts the performance, it makes it thicker, more present, but also to, um, if there are little things like you find yourself maybe catching yourself out of breath or things like that, it kind of saves you because you don't want that to be the, you know, what people take away from it. Uh, a lot of people most of the time don't even know how difficult it is to just do this. So I commend them for it. It's awesome. Another change. Love it.
That was very Kesha, that little part. Yes, that was awesome. I really love that song, by the way. I've had a lot of Blackpink fans telling me to look up this one and I really do enjoy it. Uh, they did a great job, guys. A lot of people underestimate how hard it is to do what they do uh, and it's amazing. You know what I mean? If you're getting an audience moving, dancing, singing, getting up, you know, really enjoying or even inspiring them depending on, you know, the song and how it relates to them, you're doing your job. So it's awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much for recommending that video to me. If you'd like to see anything else, let me know in the comments down below and let me know what you thought of this video. Thank you so much, guys, and I hope to see you next time. Rise above and love. Mwah.